one of the very best garden aromas is that of fresh basil. Basil is moderately easy to grow, and if done right, basil will yield a season of flavorful dishes, from appetizers to perfect pesto. But you might be harvesting basil wrong. For the healthiest and most prolific basil, don't just pick off the leaves one at a time. We're harvesting just above the next set of leaves. So by snipping here with sharp scissors, we have all of these leaves on the stalk when we snip it up here. What happens is these small leaves, these nodes here, start growing into separate branches. So your basil plant becomes nice and bushy rather than just one continuous stalk with several leaves coming off. And it'll produce a lot more basil in the long run. It's late in the season, so I'm going to harvest aggressively. I'm taking off a lot and I've got all these leaves to use. We're gonna cut off all of this good stuff in here. As we said, we're gonna cut the stalk down here, just above the leaves. This can continue to grow separate branches here to produce more flavorful basil. I'm gonna go through and do this entire row the same way. As you can see, I've got a lot of basil growing. Some of these have started to bolt, so they're trying to produce seeds to produce for next year. So we're fortunate to have caught it just in time while the flavor's still good. Next will come these white flowers. So what we wanna do is take these off because that'll destroy the flavor of the plant. Once this happens, it'll start to get bitter. Now we've got a buttload of basil here, so let's go inside and make some pesto. I don't think we're gonna need these Trinidad scorpions for the pesto. Rinse and thoroughly dry your fresh basil and snip off the luscious leaves. Some small buds and stems are okay too, but avoid using thick stems. For one batch of basil pesto, use about two cups of firmly packed leaves. I like to use scissors to snip them off, but you can use your hands if you prefer. Drop the leaves into a large food processor. Add pine nuts, almonds, sunflower kernels, walnuts, or cashews. I'm using cashews. You do not need to spend a fortune on pine nuts. Save your money for the good olive oil. Add garlic and optional crushed cayennes, AKA crushed red pepper, and salt and pepper to top it off. Pulse to chop and combine. The nuts help stir things around. You'll want to see it break down significantly and begin to become smooth. Scrape the sides with a spatula if needed. Now, while running the processor, drizzle in your best extra virgin olive oil to emulsify well. Scrape the sides as needed. Puree until smooth and taste. If you wish, add more oil or seasonings. I save the fresh grated Parmesan cheese until serving, but you can pulse it in now if you'd like. Note that some Parmesan cheese is not vegetarian as it contains animal rennet, so make sure you check the label if that's a concern. Toss with your favorite pasta or use on pizza or snacks. To store, Put into a jar and smooth the top until level and cover with a layer of olive oil to delay browning. That'll seal in the pesto. Store in the fridge to use within a week or in the freezer for later. Always smooth and cover with more oil to return to the fridge or freezer. Grow and harvest basil properly for a season of flavor and see what tasty creations you can come up with. Thank you for joining me. Tune in next time and I'll teach you how to make something else.